that's another unboxing. We are doing the BAM box. Um, this one is a little late. I did receive it today. Um, it normally ships out between the 21st and the 28th to be received within about 7 to, days, seven to 10 days. Uh, after that, it is February 12th. And this is the second unboxing that I have done today. Uh, but it is time for the BAM box. I have saved the best for last today. Um, kind of excited about what's coming in this box. Um, what were some of the themes? It's their, their second year anniversary. They originally started in January of 2016. Uh, I started my subscription with BAM box in September of 2016. Uh, so, I've been with them for quite some time, and I'm excited to see where they go. I'm excited to be with them for quite some time. So, uh, last year's anniversary box was a little rocky for me, um, so I'm hoping that this anniversary box does a lot better, and I know that they are, they are skyrocketing. They are doing really well. Um, they just need to work on their shipping, because their shipping... They have a lot of issues with shipping, and a lot of times they're late. But let's go ahead and get in the box, let's not dwell on that too much. Uh, the two year anniversary box, two years ago we started BAM with one thing in mind, create a box that we would want to see show up on our own doorstep. When we began to prototype the box we had no idea what was ahead of us. We knew we loved celebrity autographs, we knew we loved the feeling of seeing signature of someone we saw on TV or in a movie, we had just started collecting pins and were obsessed. We had a fan art all over our walls and we loved reading comics. We love collectibles. So we decided to put all that into one box. And then we knew the only thing missed would be for people that would also love seeing and meeting each other. Uh, to be able to trade, to recreate that feeling of being at a card shop or a comic book shop. And trading a friend or random person one of your favorite items or one of your items for theirs. So we created the BAM Box community. And it has been happening for over 2,000 of you who are doing it. I am one of those people. I trade on there quite often. Uh, you may get something you like. You may get something you don't like. And vice versa. Uh, so you trade for those, which is really awesome. Uh, we declare 2018 the year of the BAM. And we find... While we find our stride, watch what happens and be a part of it. It won't be the same without you. Sincerely, thank you for who've each made this possible. Adam MacArthur, CEO of Bambox. Great guy. I love following him. And I really hope that you did not see everything that was on the box on the back of that page. I did not realize that the spoiler was on the back, and I really hope I did not show you. Alright, so, tissue paper. Be gone. First item out of the box, we have a limited edition pin of some guy's face that's bloody. Now looking at the back of the pin, it looks like we have Nick Kakoza. No, that's who designed it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but it is a Walking Dead pin. And I know Nick Kakoza does a lot of designs for Bambox pins. So, um, yeah. That is a Walking Dead pin. I'm not sure who that is because I have not gotten into Walking Dead. I'm one of those people that like to wait till the TV show ends so I can just binge watch all 10 seasons or whatever is out there. Um, although I've been really, really fighting the urge to watch, watch The Walking Dead and also watch Game of Thrones, which is another one that I, I just, I have not watched, so. Next item out of the box is a coin, and it is 1922, and God we trust, the Liberty Lady on the front, and it is the same exact Liberty Lady on the back, but it is a scratched up version, so, um, I believe that's from Batman, isn't it? Isn't this the coin that Two-Face flips? You die. Well, I guess that was the Tommy Lee Jones version. Not so much the uh, um, Aaron Eckhart. 
Man, I think I got the right, the Aaron Heckhart version. Uh, he was more serious, more, okay, you die, bang. Like, that was for your driver. Like, <laughs> so, decent item. It's a prop. Um, we typically get, a, like, one or two props in here. Um, I'm not sure which item is my one-up item, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because I did receive a one-up card, a red one, I've seen yellow and I've seen green recently, but I've not seen red, so I'm not sure what this is. But we will see that in just a second. Uh, next item out of the box is... Something pointed. Something metal. Something hard. And then toss that. So this is... Almost looks like it's a hand going through a circle and... It's got like a, a blade coming down out from behind it. I have no idea what this is from. And it's almost a combination of a pin. So it's got the pin on the back so you can pin it to something. But I can't imagine you actually pinning to this to yourself. Because say you pin it right there and you bend over really quick. You're going to stab yourself and that might actually poke into your skin. That could cause some damage. Um, but to me it almost seems like a bookmark too. You can use that, that blade and the hand to kind of hold your place, but still drawing a blank on what it is too. Um, so let me know because I have no freaking idea. Uh, next items out of the box, we've got the print and the autograph. Um, I do believe that this pin is a normal one. Pop and that are also normal, so I'm assuming our one-up is going to be one of these two items. Now let's see which one it is. This is the print, and it is from uh, one of Bambox favorites artists. This is Logan Peck, and uh, this is the Okay, so this is Stranger Things, and this is the Upside Down Variant BAM Exclusive. So it's actually supposed to be like this, and I'm assuming the normal one is probably like a, a right side up one. Uh, probably in, in color, because the Upside Down is very dark, very uh, like almost like grayscale almost. Um, I did watch the first two seasons of Stranger Things, and... Although I like it and will be following it and watching all the new seasons, it wasn't a wow show. Like, I, I'm not crazy excited like most all of you out there are. Um, but it, it is a decent show that I, I, I am enjoying at least and following along with. But this is the upside down variant, so I'm assuming that's what goes with the one up card is that we received the art variant, which is awesome. I actually like that. That we got the upside down variant. Next item out of the box is an 8x10 uh, photo has been hand signed by Lee Towersy, who operates R2-D2 in Star Wars and The Last Jedi. It was signed during a private signing with the BAM box. Well, this is really, really dark photo. You can see um, a house burning in the background and you can also see a little picture kind of really dark with R2-D2 in it and also a hooded figure. And it is signed by Lee Towersy, who operated R2-D2 for the movie. Which I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I've gotten, uh, who did I get? BB-8 uh, signature and now I've got an R2-D2. So. That's a pretty cool item. I really like that. I'm a huge Star Wars, Star Trek fan. Yes, I like both. I didn't pick a side. I like it all. Shoot me. I love them. Alright, so let's go through the real quick rating, actually. Let's go ahead and look and see what we would have got and do the rating with that. So let's go ahead and start off with the pin. We have uh, Walking Dead. You could have gotten this guy. Or you could have gotten the a bearded zombie, 
or a zombie with a cowboy hat and missing an eyeball as the variant. We got the, just the regular. Uh, I'm not sure about Walking Dead yet, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7 out of 10. Not a bad item. We'll see if I like the show here when it uh, ends. I think it's last season is coming up here pretty soon. Either this next season or the season after. I can't remember which they said it would be. Um, this is the Hand of the King replica made by Dark Matter Props. And they do a lot of stuff through Dark Matter, which make really good, high-quality stuff. The King's Hand is the most powerful adjoining position in the Seven Kingdoms. Second only to the King in authority and responsibility. Take your role. Still don't know what it's from. Obviously, it's from something that has kingdoms. What was the other one that was on here? Game of Thrones. That there was supposed to be an item from Game of Thrones in here, and this must be it. So um, I'm assuming that's Game of Thrones. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, neat item. I'm not sure of its usefulness as of yet. Um, don't know if it'll work as a bookmark or if it's actually just a pin that's going to stab you. Uh, I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Uh, I, don't, again, don't know the show that much. Um, this is Two Faces Coin, which I really like. I'm going to have to find a way to display this one, make, maybe get one of those uh, um, frames that we got for the Game of Thrones uh, coin uh, a box or two ago. Maybe have to I have to get one of those for this. Um, so, I like that item. Uh, I like this more than Game of Thrones pin. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 as well uh, for the Two Face coin. And now, on to the prints. We have the variant, the upside down. So, it should be, it is supposed to be like this. Um, we got the variant. I love the variant. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, I was correct. The other one is the exact same print, only it's right side up and in color uh, for just the normal one. Uh, I'm glad we got this one. This is my favorite. Like, I'm glad the uh, 10 times better than the other one. Uh, last item out of the box is the um, Star Wars Last Jedi signing. Uh, we got R2-D2, you could have gotten Porg, who is also the same guy who um, plays R2-D2, or not R2-D2, um, BB-8, and we've received a BB-8 um, print before with his signature on it. Uh, you could have also gotten um, let's see there are two other creatures on here, and I'll post a, a really close-up picture of this um, so that you can see, and then I believe there was an ultimate rare one which had all four signatures on it, which would have been phenomenal. However, I did not get that one. I want that one. If you got it, then I'm you, me, you know, you know, I will trade a lot to get that. So, uh, let me know. Uh, and then there's also a giveaway which I'm currently entered in, but it has not ended yet. You will get a signed um, Christian Bale as Batman um, poster or print. Um, I believe it is. Um, 11 by 14 Batman photograph signed by Christian Bale. Which I also post a picture of that real close. And uh, I'm going for that. I'm hoping I get that. Um, but yeah. That is the box. Uh, I would say a really good box. There was not a single thing I disliked. Um, this would probably be the weakest thing out of the box for me. But that all in all was still a good high, high ranking item. Uh, if you like this box, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, like it and uh, subscribe if you want to see more unboxings. And I also do some gaming. So... In the next unboxing, later dudes!